Scott, how are you feeling as you prepared to make your test debut here at Lords? Is it something you dreamt of since you committed your career with England? Um, well, I gotta make my debut first, you know. But um, if selected, I'll be probably over the moon. And grow, like, is this something that would really fulfill a huge ambition for you if it happens? Yeah, you know, um, the first one's always special. Um, to be at large or grown, we 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 had a really good success as of recent, you know. So it would be comforting as well. And how do you feel coming into this with the expectation that's on you, uh, especially given James Anderson's in injury? How, how do you deal with that expectation? Um, I don't know how to feel as yet. Obviously, it's still Sam Curran as well that is waiting <laughs> for the Ashes debut, and he's he's played Test cricket already for England. So whoever gets selected on the day, I'm no doubt. Either one of us will be successful. You showed during the World Cup, though, that the big pressure moments don't seem to phase you. Are. Do you get nervous? How do you, how do you manage that? Yeah, I get a little bit nervous sometimes. Um, I guess the thing that would be different is probably red ball and white ball. Uh, I personally believe test cricket, you get a lot more opportunities to redeem yourself. 50 over, if you don't have a good 10 overs, that's it. Yeah, you got to wait till the next game. You have ample chances to, to do it in a Red Bull game. You've played one uh, Red Bull match in 11 months. What makes you confident that you've had enough preparation? Well, I've played a lot more Red Bull cricket than I had White Ball, and I, I do think it's my, my preferred format anyway. Uh, Justin Lang has talked about sort of wearing you down. Uh, obviously, with Test cricket, there's the mental stamina and physical stamina. You up to that? You ready for that? Yeah. Uh, probably more ready than I've ever been, you know. And I bowled 50 overs in, in one game already um, for Sussex. Uh, I'm usually the one bowling the most overs anyway, so I think Justin Langer has another thing coming. And size strength, good? <laughs> yeah, never better, never better. Um, just needed a few days to settle and we just couldn't get that that uh, big gap in the World Cup. So as soon as the World Cup was over, it settled within a matter of days, really. Uh, obviously, last time, last time you were here at Lords, mm -hmm. pretty decent day at the office. Uh, how was it sort of coming back and getting back in the dressing room, sitting where that whole event panned out? Well, when I came in today, it looked a bit different, you know. All the um, the World Cup boards and stuff were down, and it just looked normal again. But um, as I said earlier, you know, it's just a, a good ground to come back to, you know. Uh, hopefully, we can keep our winning ways here. And we feel obviously standing at the top of your mark, looking at that ground, good memories from, from that day, the Super Over, all that? Yeah, you know, um, it was a really, really good day, you know, and I think... It's a good thing that most of the guys that are in the test team were part of that as well. So I'm, I don't think I'm the only person that will feel that way. And have you uh, chatted to CJ at all? CJ played a few test matches for England a couple of years ago. Was, uh, have you asked him about a little bit of advice? <laughs> no, nah, not really. Um, test cricket is pretty much almost the same thing as first class. You, you know what you got to do. You know what your strengths are, especially and just to, to stick to them. Well, I'll just say, well, Red Bull isn't really shown on TV, so a lot of people won't know. And looking at the scorecard doesn't really tell the, the full story of how a game panned out anyway, you know. But um, I don't know. It was actually the first format I played in while I started at Sussex. Uh, it was a bit hard to get into the white ball team, so <laughs> I actually I think I finished... I played the second half of the red ball, red ball season, only played like two white ball games. You think it suits your skills? Yeah, I think so. Well, I hope so. <laughs> you took some wickets last week, Sussex 2s and scores and runs actually as well. Do you feel good? Were you at full, full throttle in that match? Yeah, I was. And 
also it was still good to get a chance to bat in the middle. Obviously playing in the World Cup for the last six or seven weeks and getting six to ten balls max every innings, you know. Uh, if you're not mentally strong, you can actually think like that. that's who you are, you know. But um, I was so glad to get in the middle, hit a few and, and get some wickets as well. Did it feel like a, a proper workout, you know, preparation for, for an Ashes Test match at the Lords? Yeah, um, I think I ended up going past the overs. They told me to bowl in the game anyway, so um, I think it was good practice. Ali, um, uh, Steve, there's a lot of spokes on Steve Smith, particularly from the first test. You know him from playing against him in Rajasthan, playing with him in Rajasthan Royals, but also I'm guessing you'd have watched quite a bit of the test match. You were obviously there helping out at HBAS as well. Mm. When you watch him back, do you think, have you got some ideas as to how possibly he could get him out? Uh, I think my ideas will probably be the same as the guy. It's just that <laughs> the guy's plan hasn't been successful. Um, he played really well at his best then. Uh, I think he had a day out, really. Well, days out, really. But um, Lawrence is a bit different to his best then. So hopefully one can just do a bit more coming down the slope and he gets out for 90 runs less. Well, yeah, we still keep in touch. Uh, we don't really talk too much cricket now. Uh, I think he's left me to, to go on and, and do my own thing. But um, we, still, we still keep in touch. Uh, I went to the team hotel as well when we play West Indies. And actually, luckily enough, they like followed us when we had our fixtures. So they would either play the game before or the game after. So we did spend a few, a few, a few days together during the World Cup. Well, what I'd say is don't expect any miracles firstly, you know, um, I just, well, hope, hopefully I'm going to make my debut sooner rather than later and I can only come in and, and do what I can. Uh, I can't work miracles, well, I'll try to, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it might pan out. So, you know, just, just stay tuned. I'll try my best and yeah, I can only give my best as well. Yeah, I think the slot did have a have a hand in some of the dismissals. So, um, it makes bowling at right handers a bit challenging, you know, because if one nips down the slot, it's a good ball. If it doesn't nip down the slot, it's still a good ball, you know. So, um, you know, the, the margin of error sometimes can be a lot bigger than at most other grounds.